previously on Culture. Oh, you people, God told me to tell you to worship him. You're a fraud. Crucify him. Has this ever happened to you? Introducing Culture. We offer premium round-the-clock support services to help you with all your cult starting needs. Thanks for calling Culture. This is Allah speaking. How can I help you? <laughs> hey, Allah. I'm having a barbecue this weekend. Want to come? Wait, wait. Come here. Check this out. Check this out. So I got two guys. One fought for me and died. And then his killer repented, joined my religion, then also died. I'm not sure how that's funny. They both died for me. I guess it's a bit too dark for my taste. Anyway, what were you going to say? Uh, nothing, nothing. Uh, never mind. I better go back to work now. Cool. I gotta take this. This call and every call will be monitored for narcissistic purposes. Thanks for calling Culture. This is Allah speaking. Bro, I messed up. What's wrong? I got marital issues up the wazoo. I need someone to talk to. I know this is not exactly cult related, but can you help me somehow? Oh. Oh, I think I know a guy. One moment, please. Welcome to the Marital Advice Hotline. If you're a prophet who needs assistance dealing with his women, press 1. Thanks for calling Family Culture. This is Allah speaking. Uh, you again? Of course. I got 99 certifications and family therapy is probably one. Oh, okay. Besides, I'm the one who gave you license to marry a soccer team of women, so I'm here to help you manage them. That's kind of you, I suppose. So, take me back to the very beginning. Tell me what happened. The other day Hafsa went to visit her family, so I thought it would be a good opportunity to have Maria over for some Netflix and chill. But Netflix kicked me off of Abu Bakr's account, so we had intercourse instead. Wait, wait, remind me of who they are again? It's kind of hard to keep up with your harem sometimes. Hada min fadli rabbi. Good boy. Hafsa is one of my wives, and Maria is the Coptic slave I got as a gift. Ah, uh, okay. Totally halal. Carry on. Hafsa came home while I was still with Maria. Uh-oh. And she caught me red-handed. Yikes. What's worse is that it was Hafsa's night and Hafsa's house. Rookie mistake. So I made an oath to her that I'd never sleep with Maria again. Astaghfirullah. Are you disappointed in me? What? No, you did nothing wrong. Totally within your rights. And what happened next? So I swore off Maria and I told Hafsa not to tell anyone about this, but can you guess what happened? She told someone about it? She told Aisha about it, yes. And now I feel like they're ganging up on me. I just don't know what to do. I just don't know what I did to deserve this. Mo, Mo, ya Habibi, ya Ruh Galbi, how many times did I tell you not to let them unionize? Remember what you told me last week? Women are ungrateful gossipers, and that's why most of them are going to hell. You gotta learn how to handle them. I'm sorry, I'm just not good at dealing with women, I guess. For 40 years I barely had any, and now I've got one for every day of the week. More, actually. And who do you have to thank for that? You, of course. Alhamdulillah. Now, what's my next move? You? Nothing. Just hanging around while I write a few verses. Oh, I thought you were going to give me some advice or something. Can't we do this without the Qur'an? I don't want to seem like the kind of guy who can't fight his own battles, you know? My guy, you used the verse to tell your companions not to stay too late at your house. I think you're past that point now. Well, fine, but I don't want you airing my dirty laundry. Relax, you've seen how I write. I'll make it vague so it's not quite clear what I'm talking about. Okay, thank you. So, when do I expect the revelation? Iqra. What? Iqra. What are you talking about? Iqra. It means read in Arabic. Yes, I know that. I mean, read what? I sent you the verses already. Didn't you get a notification? I don't see anything. Hold on a second. Looks like the server's down. Zeus must have zapped something accidentally. Sorry. I don't know whose idea it was to put you in charge of IT. I told them I had cloud experience. <laughs> That's hilarious. Get it? Because of the lightning? I'm not sure I get it. Never mind, I guess that's one for the viewers. Anyway, it should be working now. Do you want to go through them together to make sure you're satisfied? Yes, please. Bismillah. Ready when you are. So the first verse is to remind you that I gave you rights, and pleasing your wife should not be your priority. Okay, good. But, but I made an oath to Hafsa. I can't just break an oath. That's haram. 
I got you, don't even worry about it. The second verse gets you out of your oath. My man. And, and what's the third one really saying? I confided something, and I told some wives some of it? Well, I kept it vague on purpose. It could be about cheating on your wife, or it could be about cheating on your diet. Ah, I see, I see. And Allah knows best. That's my boy. Just like I say in the next verse, the angels and I have your back, and so do the believers. Aw, you guys. So everyone's not on my wife's side, but on mine? Absolutely. That'll keep your wives paranoid. They'll think everyone's watching them, including invisible agents. You mean angels? Yeah, same thing. And if one of those ungrateful wenches acts up, divorce her, and we'll send you a replacement. Sweet. A submissive Muslim woman, believing, pious, penitent, and devout. Okay, sounding a bit Andrew Tatey there. Both previously married and virgins. That's a weird distinction, but sure. Wait a minute, I said before that nobody can marry my wives after me. So that means they're screwed if I divorce them. Glad you're finally catching up. I'm playing 5D chess, my boy. And, and they, they call, call me the, the devil? devil? <laughs> no, no, no laugh track. Get out of here. Sorry, Shaitan was acting funny, but I stopped him. Well, about that, if you can stop Shaitan at any time, why did you let him come to Earth and mess with humanity? I couldn't interfere. It was a canon event. Anyway, then the next verse... Wait, I feel like this is getting a bit out of hand. What do you mean? I mean, this all started because I was caught fooling with my side chick in my wife's bed. Are... are we the baddies? Hmm, you're right. The optics aren't great. That's why this next verse is a total distraction. Scare the believers, remind them of hell and the torture angels. Okay, what about the disbelievers? Screw them, they're going to hell. And then two more verses to distract the believers and vilify the disbelievers. I don't see how that pertains to my home life, but you know what? Y you're right, I already forgot all about my cheating. Right, but we still gotta make it about your wife somehow. So, there's one verse about bad women who totally existed and are going to hell. And two verses about good, obedient women who totally existed and are going to heaven. It says here that Maryam protected her vagina. Do I have to protect my penis? Nah, go crazy, king. Yes. Anyway, I gotta go. I got Jim Jones on line two. Are we good here? Yeah, I think so. Thanks for calling Culture. Have a blessed day. Hey, Jimmy, my man, what's up? Can you sleep with your followers? Of course you can. As many as you'd like. Oh, people. New verses just dropped. Come get your Quran. Do you think he'll finally end slavery? Shh, be quiet. Let's hear what he has to say. A'udhu billahi minash shaitan rajim. Aw, man, I was hoping to listen in on this one. <clears throat> Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. O oh, Prophet, why do you prohibit yourself from what Allah has made lawful for you? Seeking the approval of your wives? And Allah is forgiving and merciful. What's this about? Shh, be quiet. <clears throat> Allah has already ordained for you the dissolution of your oaths, and Allah is your protector, and He is the knowing, the wise. And remember when the Prophet confided to one of his wives a statement, What's this about? And when she informed another of it and Allah showed it to him, he made known part of it and ignored a part. That's pretty vague. And when he informed her about it, she said, Who told you this? He said, I was informed by the knowing, the aware. Excuse me, Prophet. Is this about your mistress? What? Who told you that? Uh, my wife. She told me about the drama. I heard that it's about your side hoe. See, that's why you females are the majority of inhabitants of hell. You curse too much and you're so ungrateful. All because I called you out on having a side hoe? No cussing. Fine. A mistress, then. Just shut it. Be quiet. Abu Ali, control your woman. Uh, pardon her, Prophet. She's just a half-wit woman, like you said. I just don't see what your marital issues have to do with God or any of us. Silence! This pertains to all of you, somehow. Now listen up, because there will be a test. Wanna smoke? Thanks, but that's so unhealthy. You should quit. Plus, I got my vape. Aren't those also unhealthy? You should quit too. <sighs> Who died and made you God? And how are you smoking with no hands? I don't need wings to fly in a vacuum. Why would I need hands to hold a vape? None of this stuff makes sense. True, true. So, 
What's new with you? I think Zeus is hitting on me. I felt a spark the other day. Everybody says that. Maybe it's the electricity. Yeah, maybe. That, or he's a massive manho. Hey. What? Where? Say, Barak, have you heard about Jesus? What? You're a Christian now? No, no, I mean, have you heard what's happening with Jesus? What about him? He just can't stop drinking on the job. Jesus Christ. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's the guy. I mean, can you blame him, though? No wife, no kids, bearing all of humanity's sins? And always turning water into wine? Yeah, the water cooler is basically a bottomless wine cellar to him. Fun guy to party with, though. Yeah. Lots of party tricks. Ha, <laughs> yeah. So what's wrong, buddy? Why the long face? I'm a bit stressed about money. I'm so underpaid. <laughs> Tell me about it. We don't even get health insurance. You know why they say don't look a gift horse in the mouth? I started that, because I got no dental. I feel you, buddy. But, you know, don't bite the hand that feeds you. Yeah, I mean, I'm still grateful. I wouldn't be here without the patrons, YouTube members, and donors. God bless him. But I'm scared, man. If we're not well-funded, the artist won't get paid, and we'll cease to exist. Listen to me. That's not gonna happen. I don't want to disappear. I have a family at home. You're not gonna disappear. Everything's gonna be okay. God told me so. Yeah? Trust me, it'll be fine. Thanks, buddy. You're an angel. Yeah, I know. I know. And you're a mythical creature, too.